Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to delete a service in Windows 10, 8, or 7. Now, you can't delete all of Windows services, but there are some you can delete. And more importantly, if you had a botched installation of something or malware, you can remove some of these rogue or leftover services. So the first thing you need to know is how to identify your service. And there's two ways we can do this. It is the command prompt or the registry. So press your Windows key plus R and type in S-E-R-V-I. CES dot MSC that is services dot MSC press enter there we go now I've created a temporary one here called major geeks test right there so they're all a little different let's say local session manager for example you're looking for the service name not the display name so local session manager you would need to know LSM so major geeks test we know because it's just a temporary key that my service name is the major geeks test now that you have that information, you can close that out. And now we can decide whether you want to delete with a registry or with a command prompt. And remember, command prompt, not PowerShell. Okay. So here's what we want to do. I like the register just slightly more because it's, it's visible. You can see it. So highlight this right here in black. And if I didn't, I did mention I have that link up here now. And the video is embedded here, so you can actually swap to the page and still follow the video and the tutorial. All right. Let's press Windows key plus R, and we're going to type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, regedit. Press OK or click Enter. Click Yes for user account, and clear this out or highlight it. Press Control V to paste what we did. Don't make me look bad here. There we go. And there's all your services. So we're going to scroll down. We're going to find Major Geeks Test. Oh, come on. There it is. So you would click it once just to highlight it, right-click, and click on delete and you will be all set that key will be gone that's it I'm gonna use command prompt to show you how to do it that way which in some ways can actually be a little quicker if you don't mind using the command prompt and I have to fix this see I even had this in here I was doing a video earlier. I'm like why won't it work it wouldn't work because uh, dummy over here was likes PowerShell all right down here in search or if you know how to start your command prompt if not follow the link we always provide a link there if you don't know how to do it I'm gonna do CMD and search in Windows 10 and I'm gonna click run as administrator I'll click yes for user account control let's get where you can see what's going down and here's the code right here SC delete service name replacing service name with the one you use for example major geeks or in this case major geeks test so SC D E L E T E M-A-J-O-R-G-E-E-K-S-T-E-S-T. -E 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 Press enter. You should get that message right there. Delete service success. Anything else? If you make a typo, uh, let me see if I can show you real quick. Let's see. SC delete service. Just so you get an idea what an error looks like. Something like that. So you get an error message. Take a quick look and say, well, what did I type wrong? Now let's take a look, see if it's gone. That open those services up as we did before. And let's hope it worked. And there you can see alphabetic order, Major Geeks is gone. So either or, whichever way you like, again, the registry editor does have the advantage of being able to see what you're deleting, not worrying if you're not a big typing person and you're not a big command prompt person. You know, I don't, depends on the person watching this right now. So pick one or the other, identify the name, right click delete or type it in to command prompt there you have it also down below some cool stuff restore or verify default services in windows 7 8 or 10 this is a neat list i put together it took a couple of days pretty much has every service that we know of and how it should be running if it's manual automatic look at all that pretty cool we always like to leave a few of those pretty similar stories down here in the bottom how to identify your process i think you'll like it so there you go all right top right corner you know the drill Major Geeks logo. No, bottom right corner. What a day. This is a Monday. I hope you're watching this on a Monday. Bottom right corner, Major Geeks logo pops up. You click on that, you can subscribe. Thanks for watching. As always, we appreciate you all. See ya.